Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. The race for full self-driving is on, and it seems like everyone else is using LiDAR for vision, and Tesla is not. But there are some good reasons for this, and Tesla has just shown us that they can replicate the LiDAR system with just vision. <laughs> yeah! But why not have this extra sight with LiDAR in your Tesla? Well, this is because this spinning rooftop LiDAR product by Velodyne cost about 75,000 US dollars. And humans can drive a car pretty much anywhere and we only use vision. So it's definitely possible to drive using only vision, but the Tesla car has much more than just two eyes. But let's dive into this and check out why Tesla doesn't need LiDAR and why Tesla just kill the whole LiDAR system. Let's dive right in. Visual recognition is necessary for autonomous driving, but LiDAR is not. And vision works much better as Tesla has shown us because with vision your car can see if this thing on the road is a plastic bag or tire, LiDAR just sees an object. Vision can see which way the person is most likely to go and that this person is looking at their phone and not paying attention. LiDAR just sees a person. And everything in the world is designed for sight. Our roads, traffic light, signs and so on are all made for sights. And this is why this is the way to go. But what is it about LiDAR that makes everyone else use it and think they need it? Uh, a Waymo comes to an intersection and uh, takes a left through the intersection. You've seen this for a decade. So how is this special? Why are we so late? What's taking so long? And, uh, you know, it looks the same. So uh, what's the... Uh, but. Uh, I think the critical point to make is that it looks the same, but under the hood, it's completely different in terms of the approach that we take towards full cell driving. So in particular, we take a heavily vision-based approach. So everyone else has a LiDAR on the top of the car. The LiDAR shoots out lasers and uh, creates a LiDAR uh, kind of point cloud map. And then you pre-map the environment that you're going to drive. So you have a high definition LiDAR map and you localize to it to a centimeter level accuracy. And then you know exactly the path you're going to take. So you can just steer to keep yourself you know, perfectly localized in the correct uh, region. Yes, LiDAR is very good at making 3D images of the world around you. And this is very important for autonomy. So the car knows everything that's going on around it and can see the whole picture. And with LiDAR you get this 3D layer of the world. You don't really need to make any new technology. You just put a LiDAR system on your car and boom! Your car can now see the world around you in high definition. So it all sounds pretty easy and there's of course more to it, but you pay very big bucks for this system. What Tesla is doing is getting the same 3D layer of the world around you, but without this very expensive LiDAR system. Because Tesla has actually not just taken the technology that already exists, they have built a whole new technology from scratch. Yes, that takes a lot of time, hard work and some of the brightest minds in the world. But in the long run, they will have a very cheap system because it does all this with just 8 cheap cameras. Tesla doesn't just take the lazy approach and slam on a LiDAR system that costs $75,000 because Tesla knows it is not necessary. They just made a system that can do all that but without LiDAR. You pay $75,000 for this shortcut to visualization of the world around you. But you sidestep the fundamental problems of visual recognition that is needed for autonomous driving. So you can't just put on LiDAR on your car and get to autonomous driving, you still need to solve all the fundamental problems of visual recognition. So you do need more than just a LiDAR system but you don't really need the LiDAR system. It is just adding $75,000 to your car. But how does Tesla do this? 
The way they do this is they use pixel by depth, where the camera shows if an object is close or far away, just by using sight. They do 3D object detection and they can make a 3D reconstruction of all the image around the car to make a 3D image of the whole world around them. Just like LiDAR, but with only vision. We take a pseudo LiDAR approach where you basically uh, um, predict the depth for every single pixel and you can cast out your pixels and you basically simulate LiDAR input that way, but it's purely from vision. And then you can use a lot of techniques that have been developed in, in also for LiDAR processing to actually achieve 3D object detection. Yeah, they just show the world they can do what LiDAR does. Just about $74,000 cheaper? Ouch. And they can even use this to make bird eye view of what the car sees. That's just amazing. So here's an example in top row, I'm showing the uh, left camera center right, and I'm showing road edge detections in red. On the bottom row, on the left, you see the ground truth of what this intersection looks like, and you see that the car is positioned on the dot. And in the, in the middle, you are seeing some of our predictions from the recent um, the bird's eye view networks that just kind of make these predictions in the top-down view directly. The car is on the bottom center of these images, and as we're winding, as we're turning through this intersection, these bird's eye view networks just predict uh, pretty far away, the full structure of this intersection and what it looks like. Um, so this is, uh, this is extremely powerful for us. Uh, here's another example in the case of Smart Summon. Uh, the car is driving around parking lots and we have to understand the corridors of this parking lot. And so here we are predicting the corridors in bird's eye view. We're predicting where the corridors meet at intersection points in red. And we're predicting tiny arrows that tell us the traffic flow. And this all comes out of the net directly. There's no occupancy tracker kind of necessary. But Tesla cars have more than just sight. It does have eight surrounding cameras providing a 360 degrees of visibility around the car at up to 250 meters of range at all times. This vision is even better than our vision. But the car also have 12 ultrasonic sensors complementing this vision allowing for detection of both hard and soft objects and it has a forward-facing radar that is able to see through heavy rain, fog, snow, dust, and even the car head. And as we have talked about many times before, Tesla is in a league of its own when it comes to collecting data from all these systems. They have over 3 billion miles driven on autopilot already. Tesla made over 100,000 lane changes every single day back in April 2019, so it could easily be double that today. And Tesla gets 10 to 100 cases a day where Tesla slams on the brake because a pedestrian jumps in front of the car. So they get many edge cases every single day that they use to train their neural network for every possible scenario. So it's a bit crazy to think about that the Tesla AI team is actually just a few dozen people that make all this works and train the neural network. But they made a whole new way for the neural network to learn faster from all this data coming in. So the process of going through all these videos is highly automated. Tesla built a whole new computer called Dojo, which can unsupervised go through some of all these videos and train the neural network. Just amazing. So Tesla is not just making the car see, they're teaching it to understand what it is seeing and predicting what is going to happen just like we humans do. Like Tesla's system is not just going to stop for people that suddenly jumps into your path, but they are learning the neural network to predict where people are going, so the car will stop for people who are going to be in your path, not just for the ones who are in your path. Like the pedestrian looking at their phone, not paying attention, but is about to cross the road. Tesla will predict this and be alert. But Tesla cars are going to know even more than just what it can see because I do think they're going to record more than just parking lots. As Elon just announced, they will make their own maps of the parking lots to make it easier for the cars to find their way in the parking lot and find a parking space. 
but Tesla is also registrating potholes in the roads so the next time it drives that exact same route it will know there is a pothole before it comes, but so will every other Tesla car. So even if it is the first time a Tesla drives this way, the car knows there is a pothole to be aware of. Or if it is fixed, the car can now tell the rest of the Tesla fleet that this pothole is no longer there. But I think Tesla will take this even further. They are going to have millions of cars on the road with cameras. Why not record the whole world's road system and make their own kind of low definition Google Maps for cars, but complete with potholes, constructions and everything else. Tesla is going to have a lot more cars on the road than Google ever did to bring us Google Maps. And Tesla is already going to do this with parking lot and potholes, so why not take it a step further so every Tesla car knows every little road in the world that has ever been driven by a Tesla car. This would be such a big advantage for Tesla and their neural network. This could be a business all in itself selling these roadmaps to other companies that would like to have full self-driving cars as well. So LiDAR is just a way of seeing, mapping the area, but it has nothing to do with neural network, machine learning or solving the fundamental problems about autonomy. It is just another way of seeing things. But this way cost $75,000. And Tesla just made their camera system replicate the way the LiDAR system sees. And this is exactly what Elon has been talking about. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. And, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. <laughs> doomed. Expensive, expensive sensors that are, are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of... A, a, expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well now they want to put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. You'll see. I was a huge proponent of LiDAR and it I It was loved the it. sauce, right? Well, that was not my quote, but I, I definitely um, believed that that was actually the unlocking factor. Uh, you know, an, a, a wiser person than me, and I'll eat some humble pie here, said that LiDAR is a crutch. Yeah, I was just it, about to ask you about that. Yeah. So you would agree with Elon Musk, he said, and he's been ridiculed for that a bit. Um, he's for, right. For calling LiDAR a crutch, and that's what you believe as well. I believe that as well. And I don't believe that because I can't do it, because I'm happy to do that. It's just not where I think the actual value is coming from. And Tesla could use LiDAR, but it is not necessary. So why would you put a system in your car that makes the car $75,000 more expensive when you don't need it? It doesn't make any sense. I do think Elon is right on this one as well. Everyone using LiDAR is going to fail, because sure, it will get cheaper over time, but in 5 years time, it will maybe cost like $50,000, and I do believe Tesla will have solved the full self-driving at that point with just 8 cameras, a radar and ultrasonic centers. That cost way, way, way less. Elon has been saying this for years, but I really don't think the other guys could see how to do this without LiDAR, because that meant they would have to build this visual system from scratch and they simply didn't know if this was possible, or how to do it. So they went with the only approach they knew. That's all fair. But sadly, this probably means they will not win the race for autonomy, and it's going down a blind road. I think Tesla is taking the only way that it's going to lead to full self-driving, because it needs full vision, and an understanding of what it sees, not just sight alone. And everyone else is making a system that costs $75,000 more than Tesla's system. And for the price of this LiDAR spinning laser thing on top of the car, you can get a whole full self-driving car from Tesla. <laughs> yeah, no one is going to catch Tesla on this one. I just don't see it. You'll see. But what do you think? Is LiDAR a good thing? Or do you agree with Elon that LiDAR is the wrong way to go? Let me know in the comments below. 
Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, it really helps out a lot for this video. And if you did like it, maybe you should consider subscribing to the channel. I come out with videos like this all the time, and I make a news episode every Sunday about Tesla, Elon Musk, and everything in between. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. Maybe you want to support the show even more. You can for as little as a buck a month. Yeah, a buck a month. Support this show to help me keep making these videos. A big thanks to all my patrons already supporting this show. Thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you guys. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.